Design the Future is a one-week design thinking program that teaches high school students how to solve real-world problems. Throughout the week, students work with individuals with physical disabilities to design and manufacture products that solve the problems they face. Students learn the skills needed to adapt to real-world experiences and come up with solutions to problems they didn't know how to solve before. Those with disabilities who volunteer their time are project partners. Small teams of students work with these project partners to go through the design thinking process and design and manufacture a product to meet their needs. There are five key phases to the design thinking process and students have the opportunity to experience each one as they design their products throughout the week. The first phase is empathy. During empathy, students gain an understanding of the world that their project partner lives in, what their life is like, and the challenges that they face on a daily basis. The second phase is define. During define, students select one problem that their project partner experiences that they're going to solve throughout the week. The third phase is ideate. During ideate, students come up with as many ideas as possible for how they can solve their partner's problem. The fourth phase is prototype. During prototype, students create physical models of their ideas that can be held and experimented with. The fifth phase is test. During test, students get real feedback from their project partners to learn how well the prototypes they've created meet their partner's needs. Here's what they learned from Design the Future. I have taken away from this program like immensely how many problems you can come across trying to solve a big problem. I mean, it is incredible. Just going through all the stages of design thinking was so helpful. It's just something that I can understand and relate to. Um, from empathizing to, with your user and getting to know the problem, all the way to creating something for it and testing that out to make sure it works. And I think the entire thing is really key and it works again with everything not just with design. Design the Future is run by a team of professional designers, university design students, and professors. Students gain over 60 hours of direct one-on-one -on -one mentorship from these individuals over the course of the week. Schools are set up to give us problems to solve, but no one's giving you the problems in once you enter the workforce like it's much more useful as a skill to go out and look for problems to have an eye that's trained towards identifying problems understanding why they're meaningful and then take steps towards designing solutions around those problems um, so I'm, I'm really hopeful and, and excited to see students in high school deciding to engage uh, in this learning that allows them to be creative problem solvers later on each team is paired with a university design student to help them in their journey toward designing their final product. I think design thinking taps into a lot of natural tendencies um, of problem solving. Um, so speaking to people, brainstorming, working with other people. Um, and I think that breaking it down into a program and looking at the five steps really helps to develop those skills. Um, but they can hopefully become very natural and habitual. Created by DC Design, the program has been held at Stanford University in collaboration with the Stanford Design School. The future is full of unknown and complex problems. We prepare students to solve these creatively and confidently. During Design the Future, we want our students to go beyond the typical class project. We want them to create products that will have a lasting impact on the lives of their project partners. With Design the Future, our goal is to go beyond telling students they can change the world. Our goal is to show them how. <laughs>